Last time on Dragon Ball Z Team Training, Nosarag has started his epic journey to become the number one trainer in all the lands. But first, before he sets out, he must choose one of the three unique fighters to accompany him on his journey. And who better than the one and only Goku? I gotta choose him. After defeating his rival, Fart, Nosarag and Goku finally set out on their journey. Along the way, they are accompanied by many powerful fighters and some not so powerful fighters. Excellent. All right, we got Yancha. After making a few additions to the team, the crew sets out to the North Forest where they can do some vigorous training. There, many powerful trainers await, ready to do battle. Kamehameha! I love the animations too. They're so good. But none can stand a chance against Goku and the rest of the team. After much vigorous training, Goku is finally ready to evolve. Ascending to new height, Goku has evolved into a Super Saiyan. After Goku obtains his most latent power, they make their way to the first gym where Yajirobe awaits them ready to battle. To finish off, Nappa. There we go. Ooh, attacking crows. I should use that a lot more. Awesome. Sweet. Okay, this game is so much. After easily defeating Yajirobe in a battle, Nasarag is awarded the Dragon League Saiyan badge, the first badge of eight. The young trainer then sets back out on his journey. What new powerful trainers will he fight next? How many more powerful fighters will join the team? Find out on today's episode of Dragon Ball Z Team Training. What's up everybody? It's your boy Nas and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z team training had to make sure i got the title right this time but welcome back everybody we're picking up where we left off after we beat yajirobe and got our first saiyan gym badge i think it's what it's called but anywho we're picking up where we left off and I, it's not gonna be mount moon i don't know what it's gonna be called but i'm really excited to see what is gonna happen next but i'll tell you what i need to start using other people besides goku because goku is too op like maybe i should start using like yansha or um or J-Flam, you know, um, Tertress, but, um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, like, see, he's pretty powerful, he's pretty powerful. I don't know who and who doesn't evolve, because I'm literally making it my obligation this series not to, um, to look at the wiki. Like, unless I'm, like, stuck or something like that, or I don't know how to evolve somebody. Like, that's the only time I'll ever look at the wiki, but I'm trying to make it my obligation not to look at the wiki, like, at all. I just want it to be, you know, somewhat of a challenge, somewhat of a, um, of a fun unique challenge but i've had a lot of fun with the first episode if you guys haven't seen the first episode please be sure to go check it out because i'll tell you what that first episode was an absolute blast to make i love the intro i made for that first episode i'm thinking about doing something unique for each episode like maybe a last time on dragon ball z kind of thing if i can figure out how to do that and if i did figure out how to do it that'll be the intro for today's video so stay tuned for that uh stick it with tertress oh yeah cyberman he did he did he did yeah, but yeah, we're making our way to Mount Moon, and we'll probably get the second um, episode, um, this episode, gym badge in this episode. But I'm really looking forward to see who's going to be the gym leader now, because all these unique gym leaders, all these unique experiences, it's very awesome. And I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I enjoy making it for you guys. So let's go to Darien. Yansha be Yansha. I like it. I like it. Rogue of Fukun. Rogue of Fukun. There we go. Sweet. Sweet. I probably should have done a little bit of grinding before um, we went into this episode, but it's not a big deal. We just got a bunch of trainers, and we'll be um, making our way to a Mount Moon. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to see what new fighters we'll see, because I don't know what generation this game will end on. Like, um, if I had to guess, I would um, assume it would probably be um, near the end of the Boo Saga, or maybe maybe GT? Can't really say. Like, um. I just want everything to be a surprise. Like, I saw it literally, like I said, made it my obligation to not even remotely look at anything. All right, punch, punch, punch. Are right, you dead? Yeah, I like Tartarus. He's getting pretty good. All right. Anyways, but yeah, we'll see what else happens in this episode. Because I'm really looking forward to see what other unique things will come out of this episode. Might do some grinding when we get to Mount Moon. Because I don't know how 
um, how much difficult the curve is going to be because this game has a different kind of difficulty curve. <laughs> like, they give you, like, really powerful abilities and such. Um, Orenbear. I wonder if that was intended to be changed to another item, like, um, the Onigiri or whatever, but at the same time, I don't know. But, ooh, Turles. I've been saying Turtress this whole time. My bad. Uh, okay, I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch to Xavier. It looks like the levels are starting to catch up a little bit, so maybe I have to start using Xavier a bit more. But at the same time, I think things are okay. But we're definitely going to get a new encounter on this route. We're definitely going to get that. That's for sure. New encounter coming up. Um, let's see. Um, okay, I'm going to use that because I just don't feel like going back all the way. Give him some levels. Yansha. He's punch. Punch. I right, punch that dude. Punch that dude. Definitely a new encounter coming up, and I'm really excited to see what we're going to get. All right, bow to you. Piccolo, punch, punch, punch. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Yeah, I really hope you guys are enjoying this series. Like, I'm I'm trying to think of unique different things to um, do for, um, like, Nuzlocke and stuff because I don't like just doing your, your own generic Nuzlocke. Like, Nuzlocke have been done a million times, so that's why I like to do these, like, fan-made ROM hacks where they replace it with certain things. All right, new encounter is... Ooh, Raditz. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'll kill it. Okay, barely. Okay, so I'm gonna use um use a capsule. All right, let me get my member sheet uh, up so I can um, name these guys after one of my lovely, lovely members. Who would like to be named after um Raditz? You know what? I'm gonna name this one UPB after Ultimate Pack Battles. Thank you so much for the membership, my dude. Oh, so UPB. And if you guys um, would like to be named after certain Pokemon, consider becoming a member to the channel today, either during a live stream or just whenever you feel like it. And you could also get um, a chance to become an um, awesome DBZ character or Pokemon. Oops. That's a capsule. I need to use an Onigiri. I'm still kind of think it's funny that they have the Ori. What does he have? Wait, he, he has an item on him. No, he has an I didn't. Come, come on. He has an item on him. Give me that item. Oh. Okay, he had a capsule on him. Very nice. Okay. Uh, about a you. Ah, it's a Raditz. I just caught a Raditz. The Raditz will definitely be added to the team. All right, punch, 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 punch. You're dead. All right, and if I'm not mistaken, the Poke Center right up here, they give you a free um, Pokemon. So we'll see what they give us. Uh, that's, yeah, right here. And there's also a hidden item right here. I don't know what all the hidden items are, but I'm just going off of memory. All right, anyways, um, yeah. So let's heal up, and let's see what you give us. You're gonna give us something. Hello, I, I, I give a deal for you. I'll let you have a secret fighter. Um, Chow Tzu. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm probably not gonna use it to be honest, but Chow Tzu, that's kind of cool. Um, I will name this one after. Let's see. Oh, they think it was one after, after fresh milk. I'm just going to call it milk. Just going to call it milk. There you go. Milk. Okay, anyways. Um, I'll take a look and see what it's all about. But um, but we will see what if it's worth using. It's I knew it was going to be level 5. Chao Su doesn't have a gender. I didn't know that. It's normal and psychic type. Very interesting. Hmm. I'll determine what I'm gonna use it before next time. I thought everyone was gonna be a fighter in this game, but let's make our way to Mount Moon or wherever it's gonna be called this generation. We'll do a new encounter, and then I'm gonna probably do some grinding on my team because I think I'm at that point where I need to grind. All right, Mount. Oh, it's still Mount Moon. I thought they would have changed it or something. All right, let's grab that. Uh, our encounter is Usaru. Oh, the monkey. I kind of might want that on the team. It hasn't. Oh, it has intimidate. That's actually pretty cool. It has Intimidate. All right, sweet. Okay, we'll punch it down. And I might make a swap and bring down the team. Like, I don't care about drum, really. So, we'll, we'll get this thing. Oh, come on. One more punch. That should do it. All right, Capsule. Come on. There we go. Usaru. That's going to be a switch I'll bring on the team. All right, cool, cool, cool. A basic power of a Saiyan increases dramatically when he takes this form. But, this, but his speed decreases a lot. I wonder if this thing evolves. Hmm. All right, Usaru. So let's name Usaru after. Let's name it after. Um... Okay, Bubbycraft. That works. So name it Bubby. 
B U B B. Okay, B U B B Y. If I already named somebody um, after one of the members, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll see if I can correct it down the line. Because I like in my free time, I could easily just go and um, I could easily just go and um, like you know, edit the names and such. But anyways, let's bring them on the team, and I'm gonna do some grinding here a little bit, guys. And I'm gonna probably make my way partially through the cave. <laughs> Okay, so we are done grinding right now, my dudes. We are done grinding. Um, I got a, I made some switches to the team. I decided to actually bring Chao Tzu because he has a paralyzed ability. So he's actually pretty good. So that uh, Chano Ryoku, he can um, paralyze the foe. And I thought it was really cool because like, so I could use that in the future for like, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like capturing fighters and stuff. Also, Goku or Xavier decided he was time for him to learn a good ability. He learned um, the Genki Dama, which is it's like um, I'm looking at it. It's like Focus Punch, but I don't think that there's any like um, repercussions if somebody hits you during it. But it's a really powerful ability. So I learned that over Punch because he's got KO Ken Rush. So our team is looking pretty good. I'm liking the team so far. So I did a, I did a decent amount of the chunk of the cave already. Some pretty cool stuff. Um, let's see hidden items here. Oh, I did find a hidden item. Tiny mushroom. Like those those hidden items have a um have, just have a chance to be a hidden item. So I decided to use Bubby in the lead spot because like I'll be honest, Goku's one shotting everything. I don't want it to be easy. Oh, hello. Oh, team P um, Pilaf grunt. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. So, so they replaced um, Team Rocket with Pilaf. That's kind of cool. Yeah, Bubby is actually really powerful. He's really powerful. I like him a lot. Big old monkey. Monkey only run. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine, though? I only use this guy. Mm. I don't know if this guy actually evolves from somebody, but... Okay, Ether. Awesome. Nappa. Uh, tail Smash. Dead. Dead. But he's powerful, so I'm going to use him quite a lot. Let's see. Everstone. I don't see any purpose of using an Everstone in this game, but I could be wrong about that. All right. Maybe I should have bought some Repel before I did this, but yeah, I'm almost through the cave. Let me just get through. Ah, Krillin, Tail Smash. This guy's just one-shotting everything just like Goku is. Yansha? Nah. Tail Smash. I might have overgrinded a little bit, but the gym is going to be at like around 20, so that's why I did it. All right. So over here. And nah. I'll, I'll just start running from trainers. I mean, from, I'm not trainers. Random encounters because I don't want to overdo it. Right before I was gonna fight him. Yeah, there we go. You didn't see me? All right, Turles, dead, dead. Uh, Nappa, dead. All right, sweet. All right, anyways, let's go now and get this item, Moonstone. I, w I wonder, hold on a second. One second, I wonder if anyone on my team will evolve from the Moonstone. Oop, no, no. Mm, nope, it definitely gonna be only a Saiyan. Wait, hold on. Ooh, okay, that might be something I look up to see if it's worth doing because if they do evolve in the moon, but yeah, you know, you know what I'm thinking? I th I'm thinking they evolve, into, they all evolve into the monkey. Like I think they, like, this character is like one of, it's like a universal um kind of um evolution character. So like any Saiyan can evolve. Like so, like obviously not Goku or Vegeta, but uh, maybe even maybe even their first stages they could. But but Turles and Raditz to be able to evolve into this thing. I'm I'm assuming that um, I'm gonna switch actually um, my fighter because um Bubby's getting quite a few levels. Let's switch to Turles. Um, I'm assuming that like um, it's just gonna be the same character. Like may, they may have a, a handful of unique a, a unique abilities determining on which character you decide to evolve. But I'll have to look into that. That's like one of the things I want to look into on the on the on the the website just to make sure it's worth evolving. So I'll probably do that before um, we fight the gym because I just want to make sure it's worth my time. That'd be interesting though to see what they evolved with the Moonstone. Like, like if they have unique evolutions, that'd be even better. But um, I kind of I wouldn't hold it against them if they if there weren't unique evos. All right. All right. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna peel off guy. Fight you. All right. Tail smash. Tail smash. Tail smash. Uh, all good. Uh, tail smash. Oh, I'm a switch. Oh, I didn't realize I was getting paralyzed. Let's switch to let's switch to U UPB. Tail smash. Tail smash. Oh, punch. Oh god. A tail smash has a chance to miss. I forgot about that. All right. Um, switching fighters. I'm gonna switch to Yantra because he's not low. I could use Goku and just like dem decimate this cave, but um, I just don't want it to be, you know, too easy. Although he's probably honestly who I'm gonna use for the gym. Another Moonstone. I'm definitely gonna have to look at Dragon Ball. Hello. Okay. Piccolo. Rogue Fukan. One more. 
Piccolo goes down. Realistically, I think Piccolo would be Yancha easily. But you never know. Kick. All right. Let's see who else. Uh, easy. 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 All right. I didn't know the Dragon Balls were in this game. This will make things interesting. You must put the Dragon Ball number three in the key items pocket. Okay, so there's going to be a, probably a unique mechanic while I actually get to um, summon the Eternal Dragon. Don't know how it's going to play in terms of the story, but the, the ROM has already shown that it changes some of the stuff up, like in terms of environment and even um, like just story. So we'll see what happens coming up. I'm excited actually to see. Oh, speaking of area being different, the area here is different. Okay, the hidden items are great. Oh, great caps. Very nice. Very nice. I think there's another hidden item, right? I don't remember. Well, oh, are those trainer guys still up here? No, they are not. You, before, there were two guys that would teach you, um, I think, Mega Punch and Mega Kick. They're not there anymore. Very interesting. Oh, maybe they were here. Um, I don't know. Speed up. Interesting. Interesting. I'm definitely going to be, like, looking in my free time at certain things to do. All right, new encounter. Hold on, let me switch into Chiaotzu. Because he has that, that paralyzed. Okay, we get a new encounter right here. I like the blue glass. That's pretty cool. The, the blue grass is pretty cool. Well, I want Namek, aren't I? And I got Piccolo. Very nice. All right. I don't think I'll kill him with a headbutt. We'll see, though. Ooh, perfect. Piccolo going to come on the team, though. I'll probably grind up before the gym. All right. Um... Piccolo, I'll catch you in the gray cap. There we go. Piccolo. Who wants to be... Um, wait, where, where, where is Mean Green? That's perfect, actually. Like, I got a member named Mean Green. I think that's who I'm going to name. F Piccolo. Let me see. Let me see if I just make sure his name is spelled correctly. Now I'm just going to name him... Um, yeah, I'm going to name him Mean Green. Oh, man, now I'll just name it Green. I'll abbreviate a little bit. G-R-E-E-N. So we got Green Piccolo. Very nice. He's coming on the team. I'm probably going to replace... Um... You know what? When I get to town, I'll do my research to see who I can evolve with the Moonstone. And if it's not worth any keeping anyone specific, I will um, switch them out. But we're now in Namek Town. Oh, this is sick. Look at all the people. They're all Namekians. That's so cool. Like, I knew we were on Namek because of the battle background, but that this is really cool. So, does that mean the, the gym leader is going to be um, the great Namekian dude? I have no idea. But anyways, give me a few minutes, guys. I'm going to see who I want to make the swap with and, and who can evolve on the moon. So, so, give me one minute or so. All right, we're back, everybody. I did some research, and I found out that Raditz, Nappa, Turles, Bardock, King Vegeta, Kid Gohan, and... Um, um, GT Goku, which I didn't know was in this game, they all evolve into Ozaru. So I'm gonna take off Raditz off the team. Then I'm probably gonna take off Turles too, because if they, if the only thing they evolve into is the Ozaru, which I don't think they have an, an alternate form. Let me just take a look real quickly. Um, yep, Raditz only evolves into the Ozaru. Um, Turles, he only evolves. Yep. So Turles and Raditz are probably um, well. Raditz right now will be taken off the team, but Piccolo, I'm going to be br bringing on the team. All right, so we are done grinding now. Uh, I got Piccolo to level 16. I was hoping he'd evolve, but he did not evolve. So we're just going to take on the gym. I got some super potions, what they call um, Saiyan potions in this game. So they restore 50 HP just like before. But they, okay, they cha they completely changed the layout of this gym. All right, I'm definitely going to battle every trainer. I want to see where everyone's at. 16, Dordoria. Ooh, I don't know if Piccolo can take that on. We'll see. Let's see, kick. A kick. Nope. Oh, okay, Piccolo. Switch it into Goku. <laughs> Goku's gonna carry once again. Oh, Lord. Um, let's see. Let's go to Bubby. Bubby, ha Bubby can do some damage. Okay, Zar Zarbon. Alright, Tail Rush. Tail Smash. Not Tail Rush, Tail Smash. Alright. Sweet. Very easy, very easy. Alright. Piccolo is not bad. It just, like, I don't know if he actually evolves in this game, so he may not be any stronger than he is now let's hope he evolves like maybe like later level like maybe 20 25 something like that but we won't know until the next episode if i continue to use them but we can switch out with some let's switch into um bubby i am gonna use bubby i'm, I'm not gonna probably use j flem that much just because like he's gonna evolve into um like i said um just another monkey so it doesn't matter so i probably won't use it that much all right here we go you got uh Rakum! 
<laughs> oh, this guy's gonna have like the entire Genyu Force, isn't he? All right, tail smash and do a punch to finish. Very nice, very nice. All right, all right, gym leader time. I would just lead in with Goku, but I don't want to be a bitch. I ain't no bitch. All right, you've come to challenge me, I see. I hope you're sake that you don't hold back because we will be fighting with everything we've got. You got it. It is Leader Murray. I thought I was gonna be the Elder Kai, um, the, not Elder Kai, um, the Elder Nemeki and what it's called. So Captain Genyu, uh, let's see what we can do. Tail Smash, Energy Ball, that hurt. Energy Ball, okay, Tail Smash. Okay, Genyu goes down, easy peasy. He's gonna have Frieza next. He probably has Frieza. Frieza four. <laughs> I haven't even seen the other Frieza's. Okay, this battle has to be won by Goku. <laughs> This one, oh, level 22. Okay. Kamehameha! Key Blast. Ooh. Do a KO Ken. Key Blast. All right, bag. I'm going to use a Saiyan drink to heal up. Key Boomer. And then Kamehameha! And then got to finish you with a Kamehameha! You go down, Frieza. Damn, I didn't even see the other four. I mean, other three Friezas. I wonder if I will be able to get a Frieza of my own. Wouldn't mind having one of those on a team. Very nice. I was even under leveled for my main, and I still was able to beat the gym. There we go. There we go. The the the, the Nameki badge. <laughs> I love the names. I love the names. Thank you very much. Okay, I know that. TM14. Let's see what that is. Uh, TM case. Eye beam. Laser like beam shot from both eyes. Well, yeah, definitely. I figured he could learn it. He might learn it naturally by level up, so I'll just hold, um, hold from him learning it now. But we'll see. But one thing I thought was unique about Piccolo, he's a grass type in this game. Very unique. All right, so before we end this episode, we are going to do the Saiyan Bridge. So we're going to have to fight our rival, and then we're going to do the Nugget Bridge, and then we'll wrap up this episode and get after we get the encounter. All right. Anyways, let's get this let's get this party started. What do you got? What do you got, fart? He's got a cooler. Okay. Tail smash. He's got speed boost. All right, I got to put Xavier in. I'm taking any chances. Kamehameha! I-beam? Hmm. There we go. Zarbon, I'm just not taking any chances. Kamehameha! Goku is just the easy way around it, it seems. Alright. Alright, uh, Zaru, intimidate. Kamehameha! Kamehameha! <laughs> yeah, easy peasy. I am on the level with Goku, so I'm gonna have to... Super Saiyan Vegeta. Very interesting. Now... Very interesting. Kamehameha! Power up. Kamehameha! Didn't matter, Vegeta. You still go down. You are no match for Goku. Alright. Awesome. Awesome. Alright. So, yeah. We'll do this Nugget Bridge real quick. We'll, we'll breeze through that. And we probably might as well just, like, you know, go all the way to um, the grass, I think, to get, to get an encounter. But still deciding on that let me just heal up real quickly but the nugget bridge should be pretty easy all right nugget bridge is done let's just beat this dude which is the actual team rocket grunt uh well actually it would be the uh, the what's his name um uh the yeah peel off grunt i keep forgetting that the, the peel off thing all right so come on ah! hey what else you got bear thief oh, that's easy boom all right all right so you're dead and now, before we wrap up this up, oh, wait, one more trainer. We're gonna get our encounter here in the grass, and then we're gonna wrap up this episode. And, okay, and Turles, boom. All right, so first off, let's switch over to Chaozu, and we'll get him ready. I'm probably gonna do another grinding session before the next episode, but we'll see. Nail, very interesting. Nail combines with Piccolo in the a anime. So I wonder if he evolves into um, some kind of form as well. We'll have to check. One headbutt. Oh, I killed. Okay, well, Chao Tzu killed him. So we do not get that encounter. That sucks, actually, but that's okay. It's just Nail. Like, I'll, if I'm actually curious, I'll, I'll look it up and see what Nail evolves into. But other than that, you know what? We might as well go the full long distance and we'll go do, well, we can do another encounter here at Route 25. Don't kill this one, Chao Tzu. And um, we'll see what we get. And then we'll also just go and do the get the get the SS ticket. 
So let's see what we can get here. Keep Kui. I honestly don't give a, care about this at all. I do not care about Kui at all here. You know what? Headbutt it. I don't care if he dies. Uh, there we go. Capsule. There we go. You know what? Honestly, I would be doing my mem my members a dis uh, dishonest by um, naming them after naming them for Kui. So I'm not gonna even name Kui. I'll maybe later if I really want to. But other than that, all right. So we got a shit ton of trainers to go through. So let's switch out. Let's switch into. Let's do Darien for a little bit. And I'm gonna make a way through here. I'm not gonna bother showing the trainers. It's gonna battle them all. And we'll make a way to the the uh, what's his name um, that you get the ticket from. Oh, 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 this is cool. This is like what you can do with the anime. Like, remember when um, they went to the, the great Namekian? He could awaken their latent ability or something like that. I can awaken Yancha, apparently. Okay. Um, I can... Well, that's a lot of people you can um, awaken. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, hold on. Wow. The grand elder... Okay. Um, the green pod over there. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so... Uh, not you. So, the gr the great elder him. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so you can awaken Yancha then. All right, I will unlock your fighter's inner power. Your fighter's inner power is now unlocked. Who? Wait, who all can be awakened? There's a lot of people, honestly. The inner the awakening power of the, the fighters by raising their low IVs to 31. Oh, so okay, so it didn't like make them completely busted, but it did awaken their their abilities. Let me uh, well, um, by making their IVs higher. That's cool. Okay, so Chao Tzu is stronger. Who else can go strong? Can you get stronger? Can I raise? That's probably the easier thing to do. Can I? Sorry, can I raise? But he did say King Piccolo, so I have to evolve him whenever Piccolo evolves. I imagine it can't be too far from where he is now, so maybe I'll I'll do my research. But you know what? I'll just do it now. I have the web website pulled up. Let's see. Piccolo. Oh, he evolves into a Super Piccolo at level 20. Okay, so two more levels. I might do. I might grind it before we end this episode then. Interesting. Okay. Okay, uh, I don't think there's anyone else you can actually do. J Flam? No. Nope. Okay, so uh, so Chao Tzu and Darian are the only ones I could raise their IVs to. That's kind of cool. All right, this is Bill. But he's not even a Pokemon this time. Hi, I'm, I'm Leon. Never mind. Okay, Leon. Blah, blah, blah. Actually, I'm trying to teleport, but I need someone to push a button. Okay, okay. So it's the same thing. It's just not like, oh, I'm trying to unfuse him with a Pokemon or whatever. All right, cool. And you're going to give me the SS ticket, right? Yes, thank you. All right, cool. All right, so before we end this episode, guys, I'm going to evolve Piccolo, and then I'm going to see if Piccolo can be used the latent power. It said, it said um, um, King Piccolo, but maybe they meant the same thing. All right, so let's just go grind really quickly. Probably won't take too long. Oh, crap, I almost missed it again. All right, so Green is evolving. He's going to be evolving into Super Piccolo. There we go. So he just loses his robe, essentially. <laughs> Super Piccolo. Very nice. Uh, does, this, does anything change? Nah, he's still fighting grass type. He's a bit stronger. All right, so let's go see what the elder, um, the elder Namekian can do. Or what his name was. Okay, can you do with Piccolo now? Let's see. Piccolo? Sorry, I cannot raise the power of this fighter. Okay, so it seems like it only can work on, like, weaker fighters. So... Okay, that's pretty cool, though. But maybe there's some... Wait, did he... Hold on. I think this guy said um, King Pickle. Let me see. Raising their um, IVs about 31. But some fighters already have high, um, high IVs. Awaken is not very efficient in this case. Do you want to know who can be... Yes, I want to see. Krillin Yansha, Chao Tzu, Cyberman, Bear Thief, Million El... I uh, drum. I mean, King. Okay, King Piccolo. So King Piccolo must be really weak or something in this game. So it doesn't matter then. All right, Slug, Kui, Zarba. So basically, anyone who's not Goku, Vegeta, or any of those like mainstream fighter like Frieza stuff like that. All right, anyways, that's kind of cool, everybody. But anyways, we're gonna wrap up this episode here. This has been another very exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z Team Training Nuzlocke. I forgot to um, initiate this. This was a Nuzlocke in this episode, but we got some pretty cool fighters to the team. We got Piccolo. We well now he's um now he's uh. Super Piccolo, and we also got Bubby. We got uh, Chao Tzu, which is Milk, and like I said, J Flim. 
he probably will be the next to go off the team because he the only evolution apparently he has according to the website is that he evolves uh, into um the the monkey so i will probably not keep him on the team unless i decide to run double monkeys which was not be ideal i think but we'll see maybe um i'll do some research to see if there's anything else because the wiki hasn't been updated seems like for a while i don't think they have any initial plans to update the game anymore because it hasn't been updated in like in a, in a few years it seems but on that we got some pretty cool team members and i'm loving how this game is going like the awesome some terrain changes the item changes the gyms everything i'm just loving this rom hack if you guys want to try this rom hack out for yourself i'll put a, a link to the discord in the description down below where you can get all the necessities you need to try this out for yourself but i'm digging the series and i hope you guys are digging the series too but as for this episode i am going to wrap it up here thank you all so much for coming by hanging out your boy and vibing today if you guys haven't already please be sure to smash that like button down below Drop a like, leave a comment, and support your boy Nas today. And with that being said, your boy is out. And I'll see all you guys in the next video. Wow!